So I'm the youngest of three girls. I have two older sisters, a mum and a dad. I grew up in Rockhampton in central Queensland. First memories of cricket, I was watching it on TV at home, but I got into it mainly through my dad. He played sort of locally, but mum always said he was never that good. So <laughs> played a little bit of indoor cricket first. So sort I of had a bit of a come and try day and enjoyed it. And then it just progressed to being able to join a club and play for my school team. Sometimes I was a bit of a teacher's pet. I mean, when you have a dad who's a teacher as well, you sort of don't want to step out of line. My parents sort of instilled in me quite early that it wasn't just my sport that was an important part of my life, that it had to be my academic side as well. So um, yeah, and I think that's sort of stayed true for me right to today. It's close. The given. First match for Australia, it's a bit of a blur, but I do recall that it was at North Sydney Oval and it was against New Zealand. My mum actually couldn't get into the ground for my cap presentation. So, yep, she got some photos from somebody else, sort of who was able to go in there. The name on the back of my shirt, my last name was spelt wrong. <laughs> what else? I just remember leading into it that I was so stoked that I was given the number 21. Karen Rolton, grade of the game, was her number prior to that. So I was just so chuffed just to get that number, but the actual game itself was a bit of a blur. I only really know the opposition and where it was played. Catch! She's got a lot of that. And the crowd says it all. I do enjoy reading a lot. I also, I've dabbled in playing guitar a little bit, but that sort of ebbs and flows when I, I play it. I like going to coffee shops, drinking some coffee. I've got a little French bulldog with my partner that um, we go and take him out for some walks. 